Chapter 9. General Tips for Seeing Success with 609. Sometimes we want to delete one thing from our record, and at other times, we want a ton of things deleted from our report. However, you must ensure that your 609 letter is taken care of. A lot of effort goes behind sending a 609 letter. But once you check out the templates we have provided in the next section, you'll realize that it is not difficult. It's necessary to send out several letters to the credit agencies, including relevant documentation. Ensure that you follow our advice in this aspect. Keep all of the records. Everything has to be recorded at your end. Don't just send a letter. Then assume that your job is over. You never know when things may go missing or you have to prove your side of things. The more accurate and in-depth records you send, the better it will be for everyone. This means that we should always be on track from the instant we start sending out information and letters to the credit bureaus until they take that information off your credit report. It may assist you if anything comes back afterwards. Otherwise, you have to ensure that you can prove your side of the story then the credit agency doesn't respond or do what they're supposed to do. Keep track of everything that you can along the way. You ought to have all the letters you send, both the originals and any follow-ups. It would be best if you held on to all the supporting documents sent to them. More information you have on your records, the better it will be to gain something from the process. Add the identification information. Before you send any information or work with Section 609, ensure that you send some identification along with other information. This will ensure that the credit agency knows who you are and prove that they're working with one that says their own the account or at least their own social security number that goes with all the other information on the credit report. There are various options to prove your identity and you need to include a variety of them with your letter to help you confirm who you are. You need to present information like your driver's license, social security numbers, and more to show your identity and why you would like a difference in the credit report. Consider bringing something up, albeit it doesn't look important. While you're implementing this process, you must mention even the smallest of things on your report. You have to include every little detail while writing the letter. Do not treat any minor dispute as unimportant. Mention as many legitimate disputes as you can. You never know what impact any dispute may have on your credit score. Even a small dispute can work in your favor and make a difference to your credit score. Sometimes the deadline may continue for an extended period and therefore the agency won't respond if this happens. Everything, whether or not they are big or small, will have to be taken out of your report. And you'll find that even a couple of minor things can add up to be a huge thing at the end of the day. Do not contact the FTC. One thing that many individuals will attempt to use is to contact the FTC and other agencies in the hope of getting things fixed. They hope that since there's something wrong with the credit report, the FTC will be ready to help them correct it. Some people go crazy and want to get the agency in trouble for falsely adding things to their report. Other people know who to contact during such a crisis. However, this is often not going to do you any good. If you contact the FTC, they won't provide you with the help you need. Their counter will be that they're not going to get in between you and the credit agency at all. Since you have other options at your disposal, you do not have to resort to the FTC, but ensure that you do not waste time in the process. When you want to fix something on your credit report, it's essential to not waste time with the FTC. Instead, 
you should go straight to the credit agencies. You may send an equivalent letter and the same information to everyone and that they are going to help us get things done. If you follow the principles that we suggest here and a few other steps discussed in this section, you can solve all the problems related to your credit report. Send a letter to every credit agency. We want to mention here everything we need to do to send out one of these Section 609 letters to every credit agency to solve the problem. The credit agencies aren't going to ask each other about this. If you send a letter to TransUnion, but do not to any other credit agency, the TransUnion may take it off your report, but none of the others would do that for you. You are liable to send a letter to all or any three of the reporting agencies if you wish to get that debt taken off your reports. Therefore, it is imperative to have copies of all the knowledge beforehand to make a watertight case. You can include the same information in each letter you send. You can even send an identical letter, but ensure that you notify the corporate and department name before sending the letter. Then include an equivalent proof of your identity, the credit reports, and more for everyone to set the ball rolling. Mention Section 609 in the letter. There are a couple of things that we'd like to mention concerning writing letters. We have to incorporate our name and some knowledge about who we are and where we live. We must include information on the debts and accounts that we wish to dispute along the way, including a credit report to show what accounts we are talking about. We must also mention Section 609 in the letter. This will be useful in several aspects. First, it will show the credit agency that you know what you're talking about. There are tons of individuals out there who want to repair their credit scores, but they don't understand the laws or try too hard to sneak past things. Credit agencies will quickly identify these individuals and avoid working with them in the least. But once you mention Section 609 in your letter, like we've talked about in the guidebook, you'll find that it's easier for you to grab their attention. It indicates that you have done your research, recognize your rights, and are willing to take them on to fix your credit report. The credit agencies will take notice and respect this. Eventually, they will pay heed to your plea and share the knowledge you need or erase any knowledge from your report that you do not need. Mention the 30-day limit. In addition to ensuring that you mention Section 609 in the letter, you should also mention the 30-day timeline the agency has to reply to you. This will point out that you know what you're talking about and warn the credit agency of this right of yours under Section 609. The example letters given below contain what you should write in the mail. Ensure that you mention a deadline within the credit agency should reply or solve the problem in your account. Ensuring that you have all the right parts show up in your letter will be a challenge. You should ensure that you write everything correctly and mention the right details about Section 609. You should also ensure that you convey your message in a way that reflects your confidence and your knowledge regarding your rights. The good news is that we've provided some templates to help you take care of this process. There are several Section 609 templates in this guidebook and they are going to show you the proper way to word your letters to get them noticed. The letters will remain references to Section 609, the FCRA, and even the 30-day notice. A perfectly written letter will help you get noticed, and the concerned agency will be forced to filter out the discrepancies in your credit report. Send a follow-up letter. Is it wrong to believe that our job is done and we don't need to do anything else after sending the initial letter to all or any of the three credit agencies? But unfortunately, there are a couple of other steps that we need to take. 
once you're confident that the 30 days have passed and the corporate has failed to reply to you within that period, it's time to send a follow-up letter telling them that it's now their responsibility to get rid of that information from your credit report. We will provide you with an excellent template that you can use for the follow-up letter. It tells the agency that you had sent them some information about the disputes in your credit report. However, if they fail to reply to you on time as instructed by the FRCA in Section 609, they must remove the discrepancies from your report at the earliest. These letters are short and sweet. The letter will summarize the information you sent them a month ago, reiterate that your rights are under Section 609 and that you expect the credit agency to do now that the allotted time has passed. Depending on the length of your original dispute, this letter may be long or short. There are tons of misconceptions about there regarding Section 609 letter, and getting it right will ensure whether the credit agency listens to your plea and corrects your report or not.